Ollie starts in a farmyard as he means to go on. The aim this evening is to knock over a cull buck. So there we are, um, just I'm taking some crucial deer management as, um, as always. Uh, we'll start off, we'll go and try and knock some roe buck. As you can hear, we're alongside a, uh, an arterial road, which is called the A30, which goes through the heart of Cornwall. So this time of year, it's very busy, as you can probably imagine, with um, the tourists, well, mostly leaving actually in September. Um, Thank God. <laughs> no, I shouldn't say that, of course. Tourism is a very important part of the South Southwestern culture. Not. Um, you won't become chairman of the Cornish Tourist Board if you keep it No, I, I don't plan on being chairman of the Cornish Board and Tourist Board anytime soon, so um, there's <laughs> nothing to worry about there. So the last time we went out, the thermal did cause me some problems. I, um, I mistook a deer for a couple of pheasants. So um, I'm a bit more refined now. I've you know, been, done a bit more practice. I've, I've carried the thermal with me, not just when I'm hunting, I think, which is quite important because then you get to sort of get used to using it. We head towards a piece of newly planted woodland. In theory, conditions are against us. There's no wind at all. And to be honest with you, I, I find with this particular area, they, the deer are sort of nulled a bit because there's houses all around us. Um, well, not all around us, but there are houses, so they're probably quite used to the smell of humans anyway. And then obviously got the road, so sound, smell, um, should be quite easy in theory. <laughs> Once there, Ollie faces his first problem. I'm almost certain we'll see one in here. It's just, I think we'll probably bump it because it's just, it's so thick. But I know they're just not thick. The pheasants flying up out of the cover don't help either. Ollie doesn't see a deer here, which suggests we moved it without knowing it. Then we try the maize field with the same problem. Then we try a root crop. And finally, Ollie gets the visibility he needs. There is actually a deer over there. Obviously quite far away, so I'm talking quite loudly. We're gonna try and make a stalk on it. I'm not sure if it's a buck or a doe from this distance, because it it's just gone behind the, the screen. If it is a buck, we can see the one for shooting. It is a doe, and it is with a kid, but it's an unusual doe. It looks like it makes us, but it refuses to budge. It doesn't think Ollie is a threat. It even poses for a selfie. Ollie decides to push his luck. He goes into the field for a game of Grand Doe's footsteps. So next he tries to push it to see what will actually scare this animal. That just makes it walk towards Ollie, find that Ollie is no threat and stalk off to the right. Finally, Ollie gets a reaction. Row often, they're very curious animals and I was just curious to see how close I could, um, I could get to her. And I, I sort of, my legs are actually getting tired of stalking. <laughs> It's basically feed, move, feed, move, and then I just sort of right, I'll just make her know I'm here. So I wave my sticks around in the air. When she turned around and started walking towards me, I think I think she didn't know what I was either. So um, she figured out at the end. I think she caught my scent as well, and that backed it up. That's it for deer this evening. As stalking highlights go, it's a good one, even if the animal is out of season. You can book your own William's wonderful wildlife moment at CornishSportingAgency.com.